Hi, my name is Jose Gonzalez, and I'm going to show you how to change the water pump on this Mercury 150. First thing we're going to do is find the bolts that we have to remove. That way, this lower unit, which is this part right here, can come off so we can get to the pump, which is under here. Now, the first bolt is here, right here. You have another one behind that, and on the opposite side of this side, there's another bolt just like that one. Also, there's a metal piece here that comes off, and there's also a bolt that goes here. Once you remove this plate, like I showed you earlier, this screw, you need to take this one out. This one got me the first time when I removed this, this bottom unit. So please make sure you get to that screw. Now, once you take all those screws off, this thing is gonna be loose. You may need to tap it a little bit to loosen it because it's set in here. So what you do is you just pull on it gently and the whole thing comes off. So once it comes off, you just make sure you take it off slowly. There are some wires and other things that are holding this thing in place. Pull it all the way through and you wanna rest it down on the ground like this. You know, gently, this is your water pump right here. So what you wanna do is remove these screws, pop this off, pop in the new one, and basically you're done. Just slide this piece in and uh, we're gonna show you this in detail. So once the lower unit is removed, you simply have to remove these screws here, which I'm doing now. We'll be in the water soon. We'll do this quick enough. All right, and this guy just slides right up, just like so. Slides out, and that's your old impeller right here. Now we're gonna check it for cracks. Uh, this one's actually has a crack right there. And you know, these things basically, they spin in here and you know, and they pump the water to the engine and you know, they get worn down by just simple friction. So that's why these guys go bad and we're gonna replace them. These are the seals that are in here. You have one rubber gasket here, you know, that's probably not gonna come out entirely, but just, we got a new one to replace it. So get rid of that. Then you have a metal or an aluminum gasket and then a rubber gasket that's, that follows that one just like so. So you're gonna get rid of these guys. All right, so you got rubber, metal, and then rubber. And the kit comes with, with all these gaskets. That's how it looks. So now we're gonna put in the new gaskets, water pump upper repair kit. There's some lube that we have to use to slide these guys on. That's the new seal going in. So be very careful with that. Make sure it goes in there. All right, and slides right in place. So then we're gonna take the metal um, we just put the rubber seal there. We're gonna put the metal seal and then we're gonna put the rubber. We're gonna take them both together so we don't have to do it twice. Slide them on like so. We'll put it in. Should fit in there. Yep. Let's get the rubber one. Yeah. A little convincing there. I lubricated this whole piece so it could help it go inside the water pump housing a little easier. So it's all full of grease, you know, not light grease, not a lot. And I also put this pin um, that I showed you before and what's holding it in here is just a grease holding it in place. So this has a groove inside of it, which we're gonna remember is this one right here and we're gonna slide it in and it's gonna catch that pin and then we're gonna put the housing over this. Okay, so here it is. All right, so that just slides in and it's gonna slide right in and that's pretty much it. Put a little bit here so it can help it go in. These since it's new, it's a little tougher, so it's, this helps it go in a lot easier. So let's go and do that. That slides right down like so. And so now we just gotta turn it a little bit and it's in there. We put the housing over and as I put the housing over, I turned the engine shaft a little bit so it could spin the, the impeller inside here. And the spinning motion helps it go inside, so that's all that was. So we're gonna put this back together now, just like that. And you tighten one a little bit, and then the other one so the gas could line up properly, and it's even and you don't have any leaks later on. And start this guy up. Okay, so what we did was, we reinstalled the unit, same way we took it off, we put all these bolts back in, and basically it just slides in. If you have any trouble while you're pushing it in, just turn the shaft with your hand, 
um, and slide it in place. The only reason you would change that impeller and they go off quite often is because um, the engines overheat and that part wears out. So um, that's, that's why we replaced it. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you again. Thanks.